Hello. Today I'd like to talk about uh, one of my personal uh, favorite things to use for a saltwater tank. Um, this is the Red Sea Marine Care Test Kit. Um, covers your ammonia, your nitrites, nitrates, uh, pH, and KH. Um, so it's a fairly comprehensive kit. Um, certainly the most comprehensive one I believe you can get for the money. They generally run, uh, depending on where you buy them from, about $40 to $50. They are more expensive than API, um, but obviously if you've seen in my other video, I'm not a fan of the API te test kits, and for good reason. Um, one of the things that really makes the Red Sea uh, test kits stand out, in my opinion, is its accuracy, particularly for the nitrates. Uh, hang on just a second here and I'll pull it out and I can show you. Now, with an API test kit, uh, you will generally see the uh, nitrates like a 0, a 5, and a 10, a 20, 40, 80, and 160. And there's very, very little difference and it's very difficult to tell the difference between, say, 10 and 20. Uh, 40 and 80, uh, which kind of presents a problem because if you're like me, generally speaking, you consider 10 to be okay for nitrates on a saltwater reef tank, but 20 is getting too high, so you definitely need to change the water at that point. So if you've got a test kit where you can't really tell the difference between okay and I really need to change the water, it kind of defeats the purpose. So if you look down here at the uh, nitrate test kit, you can clearly see, sorry, there's a little bit of shimmer from the light there. There's a 0, a 2, 5, 10, 20, and 50. Uh, and the colors have enough color distinction between them that it's usually pretty easy to tell uh, where you're at on your nitrates. Um, other folks like Bulk Reef Supply and others have actually done tests on accuracy on these, and they've found that um, for the 20 and under range, uh, Red Sea is incredibly accurate, about as accurate as you can get without going with a really high-end lab test kit that costs ridiculous amounts of money. Um, so if you're looking for a good solid uh, nitrate test, um, definitely Red Sea is definitely a top contender there. Um, it's also, as I pointed out in my API video, one of the things I really hated about them was that they come with these stupid tubes with the cheap plastic caps that leak all over the place. Well, if you look at the Red Sea, you can clearly see it comes with a short but wide vial, which is nice because it makes it easier to clean, and it comes with a screw top lid on it. So as long as you seal that screw top lid good and tight, you're not going to get anything coming out of the vial no matter how hard you shake it, which is great. Because you don't want to have these nasty caustic chemicals dripping all over you. Now for me, for personal convenience, um, I, you will notice a change here. If you get a standard Red Sea Care Test Kit, you'll come with a 5 milliliter syringe. For me, for personal convenience, I actually did go out and spend a dollar or two and get a 10 milliliter syringe. Um, I just find it's easier, uh, especially for like doing a nitrite test where you have to have 16 milliliters of water in order to uh, get the test done. It's just a lot easier to, for me to measure 10 and six in the vial than it is to sit there and go, okay, five, 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 and then one. So, um, let's see, uh, generally speaking, um, there, these are considered to be a little more complicated to use than, say, Sally Furt or API or some of the others. Um, but realistically, if you follow the instructions and you do it a few times, it'll become second nature to you, um, and it's really not any more complicated once you get in the habit of doing it than, say, one of the other test kits. Um, but the results are more accurate um, in general. I would say with the Red Sea. Um, so in terms of accuracy and what you're wanting to get at, out of it and bang for buck is uh, you're going to be really hard pressed to uh, do better than a Red Sea test kit. Um, for tests like uh, ammonia, um, 
generally it's recommended on the instruction that you wait about 15 minutes after you shake it all up and mix all the regions together, you know, the different chemicals. Um, with uh, the uh, nitrate and the nitrite, it's recommended about nine minutes for those. So there is a, a difference in time. Uh, and it is important to follow those instructions because then you get a more accurate test result, whereas if you just kind of shake it up and look at it after a couple of minutes, you may or may not be getting something that's really accurate, which, especially with ammonia and nitrites, uh, you know, can be the difference between life or death, as it were, for your tank. Um, the one other thing, uh, as, as somebody else on the Internet pointed out, and I never really thought much about it until he mentioned it, um, it's a huge advantage over some of the other uh, test kits there, <coughs> namely ABI. Um, the cards that come on here are individual and they're separate from the instruction manual, so you don't have to worry about getting them wet. Um, they're also uh, water sealed, waterproof, so if you get a little splash on them or whatever, um, it's not going to be a big deal. Whereas with the other kits, sometimes you end up with, uh, you know, uh, a manual or paper that'll look like this. And uh, which can cause you problems over time because then you no longer have a valid color chart. So, all in all, uh, I would say that this is an excellent uh, test kit. And uh, I would highly recommend it if you're looking to get into, you know, the saltwater aquarium hobby. Um... It's just, as I said, you know, when you take a look at uh, other test kits, you know, whether it be Sally Furt and some of those others, they're great test kits, but the problem is you can't get them all in one like you can with, say, the Red Sea or the API. Um, and as such, um, from a cost-effective standpoint, uh, it is really hard to beat this kit for the money. It just is. Um, and that's really all I've got, and thanks for watching.